Hey everyone, it's me, Xcanadensis, and today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Coffin Bean from Monster High. Unexpectedly, I found it at my local Target, and I could not resist picking it up, and I will explain why when we get into this a little bit later. So, this is what the playset looks like, and this is super cool to me, because back in G1, I think I only managed to get two playsets when they were in stores, because I just prioritized the dolls as much as I wanted the playsets. I really, really wanted to collect as many of the dolls as possible, and the playsets were generally a little expensive. They were always well worth their price, though. Anyway, it says you can play with five ghouls. I'm assuming that just means, like, there's spots for five characters. I don't really know what that means. Um, there's a picture of the playset all built, all of the parts you can see here. And this is so cool because this was actually at the Monster High premiere event that I went to. I'll attach a picture. Uh, that was... I just noticed that. That's so amazing. This was actually there too. Um, and then there's the five main characters for this gen. And then over here we can see some fun graphics of different things that come with the set. I love that they're doing this. So, so cute. And then on the back, this is the image that like broke the doll community for a minute when it first dropped. Uh, because this was the first time we saw a lot of these dolls. So it's kind of cool to have it here, honestly, <laughs> to see it again in person. Because I... My life changed when I saw this Dracula aura for the first time, and that Frankie too. Um, and these are pretty accurate to the dolls that I actually have too, so I'm really excited to be able to like recreate this. And then um, this is the barcode in case you want to get it. I found mine at Target, but my mom actually in Texas found it at Walmart, so I know at least they're starting to show up different places. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. So this set is really really big actually it comes with a lot of stuff which is super exciting and a lot of the stuff doesn't really have to be used in a coffee shop setting so it's pretty versatile playset too which i like so it comes with this which i think is a warmer um and the top has a hinge so you can open it up and on the box it shows the cupcakes in there and then here i think this is supposed to be an oven because there's like a cookie sheet there i don't know i wish the cookies came off or at least some of them did but they don't and then this is what it looks like pretty cool and then if we set this back down this is the like coffee stand thing so um something you would see at like a college maybe i think it's really cool i love the little menu there's i'm pretty sure that's an espresso maker i actually worked at a coffee shop for like six months i don't want to talk about it but our coffee maker was like a singular thing and then this would have been the espresso machine like it even has the little cup thing i don't know um, but that means that this doesn't come with a coffee maker, but I'm assuming that just does both. But it's pretty cool. I like that it has, I mean, I hated using the espresso maker, guys. I worked at Tim Hortons for context, if anybody's ever worked there. Um, I hated the espresso maker. And I don't even drink coffee, so I don't even know what all this stuff is for. <laughs> um, I just know how to make it. But it's pink. It's got all the little buttons molded on. These are separate pieces that move around. And then you can just barely fit these little coffee cups underneath. So I put this purple colored one underneath. Not anymore, it fell. Um, anyway, and then there's two little, I don't know, tumblers. Is that what you would call those? And then there is a menu thing showing the different order. Or no, these are different items. So is that only 20 bucks for all that stuff? Wow, that's actually a really good deal. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm knocking everything over. Okay. And then this is, it's weird because I've been seeing a lot of stuff about this pet, but I haven't really been seeing a lot of stuff about this pet. So this is a little raven, I guess. Really, really cute. And I love that it's on a skull. Reminds of Edgar Allan Poe, I think. Really like this one. Super, super cute. And then there's a, <laughs> there is a little cake holder thing with a cake inside. The cake does not come off and it has little eyes. It's got this um, glaze on top or I guess it's icing, <laughs> most likely icing with a little spiderweb design. Really, really cute. And the slice that's missing is actually right here. They don't come off of their plates, but I really like the detail that, like, the slice does exist in the set still. It's pretty, pretty cute. And I love that this comes off. That is so cool. So, so cool. And then there is one more little accessory in here, and I'm gonna have to knock everything over to get it. Um, there's these two shelves underneath this thing. And in a minute, I'm gonna take all the accessories off of this and show you, like, what this thing's all about. Um, there's a little cupcake with a brain design and a green plate right there and the other two of those are here so there's a blue plate and a purple plate as well and i just put them in the warmer because on the box it doesn't really show anything in there which is weird um but i guess they wanted all the accessories to be like visible and fun looking anyway this is my favorite part 
I am such a sucker for doll couches in any capacity. They're so cool. Okay, so first we have this drink. Disgusting. I love it. Um, and then we have a cookie sheet with little coffin-shaped cookies. These are... Well, this is like a serving tray, actually. The cookie sheet's in the oven. This is a serving tray with coffin-shaped cookies. Pretty cute. And I should show you, actually, the other cookie sheet. It has croissants, um, I guess cookies, and donuts on it. And... Um, I'm shocked that these are so detailed. I know they're done with that, um, like, pixelated printing method, but I I really, really like it in this context. Like, this use, actually, like, 10 out of 10. I really, really love it. It looks a lot better than it would have if they'd just done, like, spray or just done little stamps to paint them one color. This is really, really cool. I really like it. Really cool. And then we have this table. It is a uh, translucent green a kind of a snot look. I guess it's supposed to look like slime. Um, and it's got this spider web design. And then these actually come off pretty easily and they're little bird legs. Why did I think that would stand up? Um, they're little bird legs. Actually quite large bird legs, like terror bird legs. This is a cool piece too. And then this is the best part. This is the couch. So it comes with two pillows, which are eyeballs. And this is so, so much fun. And they are pink. They have little ruffly thing. I don't know. These are really cool. And then this is the main attraction. This is Gooby. Now, how do I know his name? The creator of the pets for this generation has been like really vocal on Instagram and has been posting behind the scenes stuff. And although this pet is not officially named, not, no trademark or anything, she said she calls him Gooby. And I approve of that. Um, he is like a little goo cat. I love this thing. Oh my god, this is gonna be my, like, my Monster High pet. Oh, I love Gooby. Um, and it's basically a slime cat, kind of glow-in-the-dark color. I think it does actually glow-in-the-dark. I'll go try it in a little bit. It's really hard to tell, but I'm in another room in my house that has no light. And he glows in the dark. Glorious. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this pet. Super cool. Pixelated printing on the face, as usual, though, with the new Monster High Pets. And then the couch is made out of kind of a softer plastic. Like, it feels nice, um, but it isn't squishy or anything. Like, um, if you have the Rainbow High dorm house, some of the couch... Or, like, the couch is, like, squishy. I don't know how they did that, but this is not like that. Um, it just feels kind of, like, suede -y. It's soft. Um, it's got these little... What do you ever... I call them, like, puckers, because that's what they look like, but I don't know what they're actually called. Anyway, there's this black, like, swirly thing with a skelet. There's... Uh, teeth, I think. Um, I like that it can look like a relatively normal couch, or you can add the eyes, which are the full context of the couch, and then it's like a little monster. Really, really cute. I This is so cute. I love this piece. They easily could have just reused the old Coffin Bean couch and called it a day. I'm really glad that they didn't. Coffin Bean had a couch rider. Am I thinking of another set? I don't know. Um, check out the pretty legs, too. Amazing amazing and the couch i mean it's the main attraction even in the box because gooby's sitting on it gooby love him love him love him love him anyway <laughs> next okay i wanted to give a closer look at this guy because i want to point out okay so this is like a little raven really really cute i love the little heart shape the bow i really think they were trying to give us um river's pet here river sticks was supposed to come with a little raven pet but it was kind of canceled they decided not to have pets with that set but like i'm pretty sure he even had a bow maybe i'm just making that up in my brain though anyway i love that this is a skull it's a skull like it has the bow but it looks more like a, like a real skull this is a really cool accessory let alone the fact that it has this cool plastic thing on top where you can slide the bird onto it seriously love this whoever like on the design team and the engineering team that pulled this off in Mattel. This is glorious. I love it. Love it. Oh my god. That is such a cool accessory. And then we have one more little area and it is the, I guess, like the table. Not like the lounge table, but the table table. This is super cool too. So first of all, these chairs that have an ilum or a pelvis and then the ribs from the back and the vertebrae and then this looks like a vertebral column here and the cool spiderweb thing this is so cool and i love the way that they did the resin with the pink fading into the blue how cool is that these chairs are awesome and on the box they are a bit brighter but i think the the actual colorway that they ended up is much more um 
Monster High, like, it fits the color scheme of the set better. It's super, super cool. And then I showed you this one earlier, but this is the cake slice that came off of the cake that's in the display case. And then it came with these forks, and they also look like they could be spoons, you know, because they made all of the little fingers together on the little hand bones. How cute are these? And the dolls can actually hold them. I will show you when I stage the set with some dolls in a little bit. Um, these are, sh like, they come with this. That's how they're packaged. Is it like to stir? I don't, I don't know. Um, oh, and then this one. Coffee cup. I feel like I showed you one like this before, but now I can't find it for some reason. Um, yes. Well, coffee cup. <laughs> All right. And then we have one more thing. Oh, I did show you one before. It was this. I just threw it across the room. It was this one. There's like a indigo-y purple and a like... I don't know, plum. All right, and then we have this. So this is another piece that has a fluorescent color to it. So it's this coffin table. It's made out of a fluorescent pink. I love the way that these fluorescent type materials look at the um, edges, I guess, like where they come together. I think it looks super cool. Um, and it has the Monster High logo here. I love, love, love this set. Even people that aren't into G3, all this stuff is neutral enough and fits the color scheme of Gen 1, which I really like. Check this out beautiful work beautiful beautiful the monster high team the old one and the new one and i know the new one contains a lot of old designers from the original monster high as well but like the play sets were always so so cool and detailed and interesting all right now i wanted to show you before we stage the set with our dolls and review the coffee break pack since i already had to unbox that to get on a plane with it so i might as well show it in this video um, I wanted to show you this just in more detail. So it has this awning thing, I don't know, on it. It's this indigo color again. It's got black stripes. I like the little coffin bean logo on it. It's very cute. And then there is, this is a sticker, so it's not super pixelated. This is the little menu. It says they have coffee and espresso. And it has some prices on there. It says coffee, latte, espresso, cappuccino, and... I cannot read that. I think it says, like, Cafe Go Latte or something, but that cannot be right. I have no idea. Um, and this is that same pretty swirly pattern that we saw on this table. I really like it. And then, ooh, look, 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 look. So cool. And then there's this, like, wood grain texture here. It's all made out of plastic, obviously. Um, cool spiderweb thing at the angle here. Just a small detail, really cool that they did it. And then this almost looks like it comes out, and I wish that it did, because this doesn't really have a place up here, but I feel like it would go really well in there. Um, it probably does come out if you break it, but you probably don't want to break it. Um, but this is really cool, and you can fit all of the desserts, or most of them, in there, which is pretty cool. It's got black legs. This part's like a cool... I really like this blue color. It's very, very pretty. And then there is a window here. It says Coffin Beans. This is another Coffin Bean logo. Um, this isn't a sticker. It's like printed on somehow. And then there's a window here. It's slightly frosted, so you can see them back there, but not... It has like a blue tint to it, which I actually really like. And yeah, that is a really, really cool cafe stand. Okay, so now I'm going to go get the Coffee Break Frankie and Deuce pack, as well as my other dolls, and we're going to set up a little scene. Here's my setup that's meant to be similar to the one on the back of the box. I did change a couple of things, such as including Deuce and including this Frankie instead of the other one. And this is so, so fun. I love the height of the chairs because they can actually sit with their legs basically fully at a right angle, which would be more comfortable. Um, and Draculaura looks super comfy over there. I love Goopy sitting with Draculaura. I like just the idea of going... I've never really, like, just gone to a coffee shop before, but imagine you just go to a coffee shop and there's a cute cat on the couch and you just get to sit with them. And I know, like, cat cafes are a thing, but I don't know. I just... I'm titillated by that idea. I love it. Um, and then over here... So this is the Coffee Break 2-pack, so we're going to look at that. Oh. Holding a fork. Love it. Okay. So now we're going to take a look at the Coffee Break 2-pack because it's very related to this set, not only because it's about coffee, but I'm pretty sure the concept of the set is that Deuce works at the Coffin Bean and Frankie is picking up a, like, DoorDash order or something, and I'll explain why I think that. So before I even look at the dolls, I want to show you the accessories. So this is a 2-pack. It comes with a bunch of accessories. So first of all, 
There is another little cash register, so you get two of them. So in case you don't buy the coffin bean, you can still play out the set. Um, it's the same thing. This one just has that, like, Rochelle Goyle skin vibe. <laughs> um, like granite. And it says pick up for Frankie, and it shows four different things. And I'm pretty sure the set does come with all those things. We'll see. Um, oh, and then this is the one that comes with the coffin bean. So I was just showing that it's different. But it's also the same. Pretty cool. And then the set comes with Whatsie, which is Frankie's pet. Just what's it. Um, and this one doesn't have the wings. Um, I don't know how this works. Oh, wait, what? This one's, like, robotic. I mean, it's the same. I'm confused. Okay. Gonna need some explanation on this one. Like, the other pet has this, but this one's casted in, like, a metallic material. I don't even know. Um robotic version of Watsi that Frankie brought with them to pick up a DoorDash order. <laughs> um, okay. Then, Perseus, which is Deuce's pet from Gen 1, making a return. Um, okay, first of all, this pet is articulated. I think this is the only one that's articulated. It's pretty weird. And this is what he looks like. Pretty cute. And I do have the other Deuce. And Perseus is also included with the other Deuce. And it's basically the same pet, but it just looks mildly different somehow. And it's not the arm position, because the arms do move. Um, it's just that the eyes are painted slightly differently. I don't know. Um, he has a little vest. He has the two tails. This is probably the most faithful pet to Gen 1. Just the same, except now in that chippy art style. He's pretty cute. And he comes with a motorcycle that you can put him on. And I'm pretty sure he's articulated because they had this set in mind already. Um, and you can put him on a little motorcycle. Look at that. <laughs> so cute so he's on his little motorcycle and then there is a like okay so i used to also do food deliveries for a company called favor which is just doordash um it was in austin at the time like i think it was a startup there i don't i don't even know it was not fun but anyway so it has a little coffin bean logo so you know that that's where deuce works and you can actually stick this on the back of the little motorcycle and then perseus can deliver the orders for deuce adorable hopefully just within like the monster high dorms though because this poor thing um i love this motorcycle accessory by the way not only because the pet actually fits on it and stays on it and i love this little container that's so cool um it's like the container you put the food in like like a bag i don't know cute and then this is the motorcycle so it has this like cool snake design it's got these little handlebars that's the little thing that you put the container on there's wheels that actually spin and the kickstand does move which is nice so you can actually like play as if he's moving around but the kickstand actually works which is saying something scooter gulia wheel and wear cats scooters don't work <laughs> anyway um this is frankie's bag in this set i really like this bag and it's really like soft plastic and you can put stuff in there is that a little battery? Oh my god, that's really cute. Look, little battery icon. And it's got a pink, blue, and like a fluorescent yellow, fluorescent greenish yellow neon, I don't know. Really cool. And that's a little outlet there. Love it. And then, um, I guess the order exploded everywhere, but there is a little cup holder thing and then the order says frankie has ordered two of these like what i'm assuming are some kind of energy drink or no never mind this is just um the flavor that's for frankie i guess this one's probably for claudine um it's got a little paw print on it they're just little travel coffee cups and then we have this oh no this is for claudine is that for torlai i don't know and then this one's for dracula obviously pretty cool okay so that is frankie's order love it and then this is frankie's phone and or eye coffin and it actually says like your order is ready come get it um so cool it's the same phone as the other set and you can put it in the bag cute you can put it all the way in i just don't want to um and then there's also this cupcake so yeah now you can live the invigorating experience of either setting up a doordash order as the person at the store making it or you could be the one picking up the DoorDash order, which out of the entire friend group, like, why did they force Frankie to do that? I don't know. Maybe they take turns. I'm going to go on the assumption that they take turns. Anyway, now we're going to take a look at the dolls themselves. Just a quick review.
All right, so this is Deuce's coffin bean like at work outfit. I'm really jealous because I had to wear like a black shirt and black pants to work, but he gets to wear all this cool stuff. It's just his normal outfit. I feel like that he was gonna wear for the day, except he's wearing an apron with it. Uh, I love that the hoodie actually goes onto his head because of the position of his snakes, though it makes it like really awkward. But I mean, he can wear it, and that's an important consideration. I feel like I hope we see more snake styles. As Gen 3 continues, I'm sure we will, because we did in Gen 1, but anyway, he has these- Ooh, don't turn to stone, guys. He has these really cool sunglasses. See, I wonder if, like, if you're wearing sunglasses and he looks at you, if you're immune to the Gorgon stare. Has anyone, like, thought about that? I don't know. I love that the- the- what did I call them? Posts? The- the arms of the glasses are snakes. Their little heads are over here. There's, like, a snake skin pattern here. Really, really cool. And then- he has about the same face as the other deuce, except he has more side glancing eyes. I like the lip color. I like the really feathery eyebrows. And his glasses can be worn. You stick them on like that. Um, yeah, not difficult at all. And then the snakes are here. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven snakes. Love them. Deuce is wearing a slightly baggy hoodie thing. So it does have a hood. I like the gradient fabric. This is a printed on design, but I don't mind how it looks. These are drawstrings. They don't actually work as drawstrings, but I appreciate that they're a tangible thing. Um, that's unusual. In Monster High, I feel like we never really saw that, so it's pretty neat. Um, and then there's these little mesh sleeves. Not my favorite. I wish it was just an actual hoodie instead of being like a weird hoodie vest thing. I don't know, but it's fine. And then he has this apron, which I took off so that I could show you the rest of it, but it says coffin bean on it. Same logo as everything else. Pretty, pretty cool. And it just velcros right on so it doesn't get coffee all over his cool outfit. And then if we move down, we can see this really interesting, like, black, white, and gray splatter painted looking design on his pants. His pants are a very nice material. They're actually like a really thick, nice, stretchy material. And then his shoes are pretty cool. I think they're paying homage to the, like, Gre Greek slash Roman thing. He has going on because they oh look they say gorgon on them <gasps> cool um but they have like wings which is not a gorgon trait i feel like but i think it's supposed to be like because he's doing like door dash deliveries <laughs> i don't know so he's got like the messenger thing going on um absolutely cannot stand the color of the shoes though i will say i gotta be honest um there's little cobras here which i love the i don't i think they're just shoe treads there Oh, but there's teeth. Possibly little teeth. Um, and then the bottom of the shoes have snake open at its mouth, showing you its forked tongue. Very cool. And then these come off, which is pretty cool. Um, you could kind of apply them to other shoes. They won't have the little holes to fit them in, obviously, but you know you could. Just like stick them on. Anyway. He is very, very cool. Next, we're going to be looking at Coffee Break Frankie, and I just have to commend the designers because this is the third or possibly second, depending on the the intended order of release, I don't know, Frankie doll. And they have a wildly different face, like a completely different screening style. That is so cool. I cannot wait to see if we get that with the other characters and continue to see other screenings, but that's really going to help different Frankie dolls like stand out in a really positive way, and I'm really excited to see the the future of that i can't believe they swung that for like the first couple of releases it's incredible i'm so excited like it's not just that they moved a piece of the stamp for the faces it's wildly different like the shape of the eyes is different super cool anyways so they have side glancing eyes which is very unusual for monster high and i love side glancing eyes and it's kind of a staple across g3 now like a lot of the dolls have side glancing eyes and i appreciate it so much um i love their makeup too it seems like they have kind of stuck to a makeup look. I mean, it's different, like there's yellow on top here, instead it's on the bottom here, but overall it's pretty similar. Um, but they're so cute, I love, love, love the blushing. I love their eyebrows, I love the little eyebrow piercing, their big adorable ears, and their hair is actually styled where you can see the ears better here, or at least one of them. And then these little screw earrings. The hair is saran, um, it's kind of, it needs to be conditioned. Which I'll do. Um, but this is what it looked like straight out of the box. And 
Okay, for context, the reason these are already out of box and I didn't do an unboxing is because um, if you haven't seen my doll hunt of them, it'll be linked in the description. But I was in LA visiting my friend Angel and I, we went doll hunting for them because it was October 1st, the day they all came out, and I got them all. But I had to fly home and I wasn't allowed to have a suitcase, so I had to shove them all in my backpack. So um, if they're not looking the most like polished, that's why so pretty i really really love their hair i love the way that they did like there's no black streaks on one side but these big chunky ones on the other side i think that looks really cool and there's this little barrette with a lightning bolt here and then this outfit is so cool so it's made out of a pleather material it doesn't feel like the kind that's going to peel over time but i always have to point out like they're historically pleather materials that have a fabric interior and are some kind of like Thing that's applied to the other side have historically been known to peel and it's really unfortunate so it's something to look out for and just be careful of with dolls that have those materials on their outfits um i love this jacket so it has these like what do you are they like they're not shoulder pads it's just meant to look i don't know something going on with the shoulders you can see it um and it's blue it's got like kind of a plaid thing going on i love that these look like little wires that have like the little lightning bolts coming through it's so cool and then there's a smaller version of the design on this crop top that we will get to in a minute i'm pretty sure this is the same um belt as original frankie oh but it is mirrored so you get a mirror of the other belt but it is the same um but it, i guess technically it's different because they mirrored it which is kind of cool um and then these pleather pants that are very shiny they've got white stitch details which helps them have more like dimensionality to them which I like. And then these asymmetrical boots, oh my god, these killed me when I first saw them. So they do have the exact same leg as the other two Frankies. I was kind of hoping they'd do different um, kind of doodles on this, but maybe Frankie drew it in a Sharpie and it doesn't come off. I don't know. Um, anyway, these boots are unreal. So it kind of just looks like Frankie made these themselves or maybe like cut them and DIY'd them. This is so cool. I love that it's not covering up the prosthetic leg also. This was so, so, so cool. And having like an asymmetrical style to either like the bottom of the pants or the shoes is like a really it's a streetwear thing that's like in fashion now i think these are very cool i do wish there was a bit more painted detail but i really like the silver details so on this side we have volt bolt zap zip and these little like these are meant to be like big staples and then these are like belts that are wrapped around and you can see the little buckle things and the zipper is like underneath them so these are applied over that It'd be such a pain to put these shoes on. <laughs> um, oh, and then there's these, like, I don't know what to call them, like, vents that just make it easier to put the shoes on. But it's not a full slit. They put this here so that it wouldn't just, like, they wouldn't be super loose. But it makes it easier to take them on and off, which I appreciate. And then you can see the heels. I really hope we see that, like, Frankie makes their own fashion in the new show or something because that's kind of what this is looking like and a lot of frankie's fashion is very like patchwork and stuff so i could see that being a thing anyway 10 out of 10 with these boots unbelievable unbelievable and like the overall design is so so pretty so cool okay now i'm going to take off the coat thing so that we can look at the undershirt and the tie and everything. this is such like an out there look for monster high like i've never seen anything like this in monster high it's so cute and fashionable and interesting i've been kind of saying this a lot but monster high was never a super fashionable line it was very concept heavy and there were some dolls that were very fashionable and there were of course things that pulled from um like trends but overall monster high was fairly like design it was it was like concept heavy but this is so modern it's so streetwear i love it i love it i love it um so first of all the tie and the collar are a plastic piece um i don't mind it if it's executed well and i think it's executed very well here in fact you can hardly tell um with the tie you can but with the collar not really so i don't mind that it looks really good i love that they chose this fluorescent greenish yellow thing for this so pretty and then if you take that off it's attached with a rubber band and i want to leave i want to keep it that way so i'm just going to kind of move it aside um so this is all one piece um which is fine because it's a crop top like i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what they would have done it would have been very bulky if it wasn't um this is the same material as the jacket except the printing is a lot smaller and then this is just like a simple like typical kind of polyester i guess i don't know what type of fabric it is don't quote me on it um but it is a little short sleeve and the little bandeau part is sewn on 
I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, also, of course, the the chest joint. I, I have to gush about that. I don't, I think it'll be four years into G3 of Monster High and I'll still be gushing about that chest joint because I love it so much. I'm so excited about it. Um, but yeah, really cool. I think I do prefer, I mean, I'm pretty sure I prefer the outfit with the jacket, but I wanted to show what it looked like without it. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a walkthrough of this set. I love this. I love that most of the accessories have some way for the dolls to actually hold them. It makes playing with it and posing the dolls and setting up displays and photography and everything so much more fun. And I love that it comes with two pets. Like, it really didn't have to, but I'm so glad that it did. It comes with a ridiculous amount of accessories. I love that they're all, like, themed and exciting. And I also really like that um, Frankie and Deuce are kind of an expansion pack to this. Like, it comes with more stuff. I mean, I put it on this bag so it wouldn't get confused in this review. But, like, I love that it comes with a ton more stuff that you can just put in the set. And, like, it all fits well. Love it. I love it. I love it. This is this is a fantastic playset. And I can't wait to see more playsets from the Gen 3 designers because clearly they're quite competent. At in, I mean, I, we know that I, I personally think it's ridiculous that they're getting so much hate with Gen 3 because they're doing an unbelievably good job. Like, I'm, I'm in shock over how good Gen 3 is. Um, I know that there is a Claudine's Bedroom playset, but um, I haven't been able to order it yet. But hopefully I'll be able to soon because I that's... As much as I love sets like this, the bedrooms are always my favorite. I always have the most fun with those. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of this set and what your favorite detail is. I think, I mean, I love this guy. I love this guy. Okay, so, I mean, I love the pets. I'm really excited about the pets. These just random pets that aren't affiliated with any specific monster get me really excited. Like, I hope that we can get, um, like, imagine, like, pet blind bags. They do it for Barbie. I would die for that. And we would get more like Gooby. Look at him. Um, I love the couch. If I had to pick something that's not one of the pets, I'd pick the couch. The, the couch is really cool with the little eyeball pillows. Like, that's darling. Um, and yeah. Thanks so much for watching. For real this time. Goodbye.